Good morning, hot dogs, and thank you for joining me on e-learning day five for your announcements. Hooray! Free break! My name is Tolly, and here is your hot dog news. Seniors, it's not too late to order your cap and gowns. You can call 317-731-5413 to reach Herf Jones directly. Tonight, we will be premiering the 2001 Frankfurt High School versus Delphi Wrestling Dual Meet right here on the Hot Dog Network at 3 p.m. Make sure to check it out. It's in times like this, it is easy to get mixed up in all the negativity on social media, in the news, and our Abby Plumback has found some positive things going on. Abby? Hey guys, it's Abby. With all the craziness that's happening in the world right now, I thought it would be important to sit down and talk about something positive. So to begin the coronavirus, it's not just a health problem. It's showing environmental effects because of the self-quarantine that's happening worldwide. If you've heard, Italy is on a total lockdown and amid all the chaos, canals in Venice are clearer than they have been in such a long time. As countries and their governments continue urging their populations more and more to self-isolate, Venice especially has seen hardly any visitors. Since the traffic of ferry boats and big ships has been reduced, the waters of these can canals have turned from muddy to crystal clear. With the fish in the bottom clearly being visible, swans have also returned back to the canals. I think that a lot can be taken and remembered from this epidemic. Love your earth, it's important. And when the time comes to when everything is opened back up, don't ignore that the environmental problems will still exist and it will require everyone's attention moving forward. And that's all I have for you today. Make sure you stay healthy and make sure to wash your hands. Bye guys. Thanks, Abby. That's some good news. The Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarship is awarded yearly to one graduating senior with a minimum GPA of 3.0 who is pursuing a college major or career in the sciences. The $2,500 scholarship will be awarded to a student who has been accepted to a post-secondary institution. Applications are due to FHS Student Services no later than Wednesday, April 8th. If you are an interested senior, please email Lisa McGuire for an application. The Rossville Lions Club will be hosting a blood drive on Tuesday, March 24th from 2.30 to 7.30. It is requested that you make an appointment. You can find the link in the chatter. They will also accept walk-ins. A photo ID is required. Please make sure that you eat and hydrate before donating. Yesterday, FHS handed out almost 220 lunches. Most of those lunches have been picked up at the back lot, which is best for student drivers. Student walkers, you can also pick up at the front of the building to avoid that traffic. That's it for the day. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a safe and healthy and clean and wash your hands type of spring break. We'll miss you. See you in a week.